reading of the amendment is dispensed with, and the gentleman is recognized for five minutes in support of his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to offer this bipartisan amendment that I'm leading with Representatives Lisa Blunt Rochester and Dr. Miller Meeks. As a pharmacist now serving in Congress, one of my top priorities has been improving the accessibility, affordability, and quality of health care, no matter where patients are located. Unfortunately, Americans living in rural areas too often have few to no health care options available close by and have a 43% higher mortality rate. Thankfully, this committee is considering my legislation, the Telehealth Modernization Act, to preserve patients' access to telehealth, which will help patients, particularly seniors and those in rural areas, access timely, high-quality health care. I often say that we knew how important telehealth was before the pandemic, but we didn't quite realize it until the pandemic. Telehealth has proven to be a safe and effective way to deliver care, especially for patients who live in rural communities far away from doctors, and it also helps seniors who may not have the ability to travel to a doctor. Telehealth has also proven to be an effective tool in addressing the health care workforce and physician shortages. Without congressional action, these, Medicaid, these Medicare telehealth flexibilities will expire at the end of this year, creating an access cliff for tens of millions of patients and providers. That is why I've introduced the Telehealth Modernization Act with Representative Lisa Blunt Rochester, which would extend these Medicare telehealth flexibilities and ensure access to care for seniors. The amendment before us today would preserve Medicare patients' access to telehealth through 2026, which is crucial for our seniors and those in rural and underserved communities. The amendment extends audio-only coverage to help increase accessibility for those in rural communities with limited or no access to broadband services. It also extends to hospital. The hospital at home telehealth program through 2029 utilizes health centers and rural health clinics to provide telehealth and makes important program reforms. I'm also pleased to see this bipartisan amendment include crucial pharmacy benefit manager reforms for my Protecting Patients Against PBM Abuses Act. This policy would delink PBM compensation from the cost of medications and increase price transparency, lowering the cost of prescription drugs for seniors. This will save taxpayers roughly $700 million and help reduce seniors' out-of-pocket drug costs. This is common sense, bipartisan policy, that will protect seniors from some of the most egregious practices of PBMs and make prescription drugs more affordable. While I am disappointed that we are not making these Medicare telehealth flexibilities permanent, I look forward to working with my colleagues on this, co on this committee to ensure that these vital telehealth services do not lapse. Increasing access to telehealth for Medicare beneficiaries means increasing access to quality care for our seniors. That is why I urge my colleagues to support the Telehealth Modernization Act. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back the remainder of my time.